Hello guys, this is here from 4967A, and this is the basic rundown of my robot, our team's robot. So, before I took it apart during this um, winter break, so let's get started. Um, kind of dumb, I unfortunately forgot to bring a remote from the school, so and I just have to show you guys how it looks like with my hands, not controlling me. So, first, we have the six motor base. This is a 257. RPM um, on 36 to 84 on 4.125 inch omnis. This was actually came in handy a lot. As you can see it's kind of hard to push, or it's like it's very kind of, kind of hard to push in that tile. Um, and it does have friction to it, but for my testing, it doesn't really burn out the motors that hard, that bad. So uh, moving on to the intake. So. Obviously, we have no pneumatics and no wings, so for eventually for my future rebuild, I'm going to be able to have some pneumatic pistons since our school barely got them. Um, we're just, I think we're going to, they're going to ship out next year though, so I don't know about that. So this is the intake. It was very improvised. However, it does really secure the tri-bot really good. If we get deeper into that, the thing is that this just chain kind of did snap off. A little bit and the tri-ball could be prone to slipping but as long as it's like this in the position where it's hold it's held like that it's not slipping off which is often how it is okay let me go into the next component of this robot which is the blocker this blocker mechanism actually worked on all the robots we went against um it's actually very good even though it's kind of low profile it's kind of low it's very light too this is how it is constructed it's just a Kind of like a two-stage blocker, but I, I, I always needed to make space. It could have been longer, but I needed to make space for the cata so it wouldn't interfere. And the way it blocks it is, so when it pulls up, okay, so when this thing pulls up, right, the string kind of like holds onto this and pulls it. So the string becomes tight as soon as it goes higher, and it just turns into like a hood. And this is like the best blocker mechanism, obviously, because you want to be able to block higher shots compared to just blocking forward shots. So the string basically just allows it, this stage to get pulled up. So, and when it goes back down, it can just get a little looser, you know? This was controlled by a 5.5 watt motor as well as my intake. Since I had to budget everything, we have no pneumatics. I would have pneumatic, I would have made this a pneumatic device, but we had none, so. The, the way it blocks it too is that even if they, even if you think you could shoot through the middle, it would just hit my cannon. And most people honestly just shot like right here, around here. And people couldn't really shoot over since my thing was like already on top of their shooting device. So it would basically just hit like right there most of the time. All right, moving on to the Kata, which is, I basically didn't really use it since most of the people nowadays just push anyways. I would like to show you about how it shoots, but unfortunately I didn't bring my remote. I'll show you guys a quick demo though, so. If we were to bring it over here, I would just like load it. It would be loaded. I could do a sniper mode, but I took it off to make it easier for my people to load. So it would just launch. So basically what we got here is uh, no ratchet either. So it's very, 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 very sus. Um, we just got a 36 to 84 tooth gear. And basically the cat is just a hang mech. These little spikes would just hang on the bar. Like that so, let me show you. They would just hang on the bar. And basically, that's what it was for. It would just go down, from the program, have it down, and it would just stay down. Basically, kind of useless. So yeah, that's basically the robot. Here's from the bottom. It's 30 by 30. That's like a really, really, really good ratio, to be honest. Just have it 30 by 30. That's honestly just perfect for this particular build and yeah that's how my robot was done and then it would obviously fall down like that 